Hello, welcome to Gardens of Wiltshire, I'm your host Dewey, and this week I'll be painting a Haradrim warrior. So this is the start of my miniature. Um, first things first, once I've clipped off a sprue I attach them to MDF bases uh, with a simple pin uh, screw into the bottom of the feet. Uh, I do this for all my models, um, it allows me to get uh, lots of height except, and, and change the base style as much as I would like. Uh, and then uh, I simply use PVA and attach some sand and spray them white. Uh, this was just to see if there's a difference between the white and the black, and I had a lot of white spray paint left, and not that much black. Um, I've done 32 out of about 50 of these already, uh, and I quite like the white, ba white base coat on, on them. <coughs> so the first uh, colour I'm going to be putting on is two thin coats of Eshing Grey. Um, as you can see, just all across the cloak, uh, and this will... Uh, just be done on on the cloak and wherever it obviously follows round. Uh, there's no other parts of Eshin Grey on the model, and I will be using two or three thin coats, um, depending on the <laughs> how saturated the colour is. Um, I think on most of the others I've used three. So we'll come back in once this is done. So as you can see I've applied three thin uh, ashen grey coats to his cloak and just where it goes around in the front. Uh, next is going to be some corn red, uh, it's going to go on his um, kind of trouser bits here and then I'm going to alternate each bit of cloth <coughs> with that and the purple I will do later. Uh, so we'll get cracking on that now. So, as with uh, the Eshin Grey, I've applied uh, two coats of corn red to his uh, trousers. Um, I have, uh, I am painting four of these at a time, and because of that, I have painted the uh, some of them in the opposite way around. So, all the remaining cloth, I'm going to paint in uh, Zerus purple, which is uh, this colour here. Uh, so that will be all the rest of the cloth, um, and uh, like I said, with the uh, opposite uh, cloth, this just gives me uh, more variety within my uh, force. So after the uh, Zerus purple, which you can see, um, and that's again with two thin coats, uh, I'm going to be applying Retributor armor to uh, the obviously the armor sections so uh, for me that's the main uh, bodice and uh, depends if they've got some around the, the necks uh, you may see I'm a little bit of a messy painter when it comes to base coats um, obviously the less the less left on the model the, m the more delicate I will be uh, however I do just slap all the first colors on and then put all my washes on afterwards so I've applied gold in all the uh, places that I think are relevant, uh, and now the next colour is um, Mornfang Brown, so I'll get cracking on that. So as you can see the uh, Mornfang Brown is complete, again two thin coats on the quiver uh, a bit on his uh, braces and his shoes. Uh, next is going to be uh, Dryad Bark. And that's going to be on uh, the bow and uh, kind of the uh, detail around the uh, armour. As you can see, uh, the dryad bark has been added to all the trim on the gold armour and the bow. Uh, and uh, on the quiver, it's just for the straps. Uh, next is Karak Stone. And that's going to be used for the. Uh, kind of the banding on his calves and also the the um, the banding on the bow as well. So I'll come back in when that's all finished. You see all the Karak stones being done on the banding and the uh, on the calves and the bow. I've also done the um, 
fletchling, I think it's called, on the arrows to shoot the feathers. Uh, now you can see there's only two bits left, really. So next is a uh, Cadian flesh tone, which is literally going to be applied to the skin. Um, so I'll get cracking on that after the Cadian flesh tone is done. Uh, next is uh, Pallid Witch Flesh, which on these guys I'm simply doing on the bone parts sticking out of the bow. Um, and on uh, spear guys, it's whatever bone is on the spear, um, such as this chap here, those two bits at the top. With the uh, Pallid Witch Flesh done, uh, next I'm moving on to uh, Iron Breaker, which is the base for all my jewels. Uh, I also use it for uh, the weapon tips on the spears. Um, so I'll just paint these on all onto the jewels as a base, uh, because I'm going to use a uh, technical paint later. Once the Iron Breaker has been applied to the jewels, this is where we start shading uh, the model. So first up, uh, I'm going to come in with Carabag Crimson onto uh, each of the red parts. Um, I like to paint my whole model uh, and then shade the majority of it afterwards. Uh, it's just a technique I've found that is uh, most useful um, uh, unless I'm dry brushing large areas. Um, so I'll be dry brushing the cloak however that doesn't uh, affect what I can do here. Next up is the uh, Druki Violet oh, all right, there we are. Uh, shade onto all the uh, Zerus purple areas. Next onto uh, these chaps is a simple uh, non oil wash onto their cloaks. Um, just because this is the, the best way to really make the Eshian Grey pop. Now that the null oil has been applied to the cloak, uh, next up is Agrax Earth Shred, uh, and that can be applied to uh, all the gold areas, all the Karak Stone areas, uh, all the all the Mournfang Brown areas, uh, the Dried Bark areas, all the all the gold and uh, brown areas essentially. After Agrax Earth Shred was applied to all the brown, beige, and gold parts. And the last thing to shade is the flesh, so I'll be doing that with uh, Rykland Flesh Shade. Uh, very, very simple. Um, nice. So after the uh, Rykland Flesh Shade has been added to the miniature, he's looking pretty decent. So next is the first stage of highlighting, and I'm going back in just with Corn Red, and going over the bits uh, on the cloth that need highlighting again. So I'm going to leave uh, the dark colours in the recesses, um, but the rest I'm going to give a nice uh, new coat. So after the corner I'd highlight, uh, go back in with uh, Xerus Purple and just highlight the areas, uh, the non-recessed areas. So once the skin has been washed, um, let's simply get a uh, soul stone blue, this one here, um, and put it all over all of the uh, gems. Uh, on these guys, um, I tried to make it so the uh, the blue pulls in the corners and on the middle part especially. So as you see, the jewels are done. The last thing to do before uh, we do the eyes and the mouth is to just dry brush uh, the cloak with. Uh, Mechanicus Standard Grey, um, just to pick out the ridges in the cloaks. So having completed the dry brush on the cloak, um, the last stage is to do the eyes and the mouth. So I'm just going to get a bit of a bad and black and do inside the mouth, Oh, being very careful not to go over the edges. And then for the eyes I simply do uh, a line of black. A little bit like that, and the same on the other side. And just keep it as neat as possible. If you have to go in and touch up uh, with a bit of the flesh colours, that's perfectly fine. Final stage is to do two dots for the eyes of white, 
which is a little easier said than done when doing it on camera. just like that and then do the teeth as well. I'm going to do these off camera. There we have it. A, uh, a Harajan Warrior um, all finished uh, to a what I would say is an above tabletop standard. Oh that's just got a bit of dust or something. Uh, so here we are. Uh, it's my nice quick simple uh, Harajan Warrior recipe. Uh, I'm going to leave the base for a different video because <coughs> I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them. So I'll come in and give you a refresher of all the different paints I've used. So here is the finished uh, Harajan Warrior. Um, I'll quickly run through the colours again for you. Uh, so on each section. Uh, so on the um, cloaks it was Eshian Grey with a normal wash and then a Mechanica Standard Grey dry brush. Uh, the purple is a Zerus Purple with Druki Violet wash and then Zerus Purple highlights. Uh, the red is Corn Red. Uh, Caraboid Crimson Wash and then Corn Red again. And then on the browns you've got Carrack Stone, Mournfang Brown, Dryad Bark, uh, all uh, washed with Agarax Earth Earthshade. <coughs> uh, then you've got on the golds, it, it, on the gold it's Retributor Armor with Agarax Earth Earthshade Wash. Uh, the silver, uh, which you'd see on a, a spear for example, is Ironbreaker with a normal wash. Uh, the gems are Ironbreaker uh, with Agrax Earthshade and then Soulstone Blue and the skin is simply Cadian Flesh Tone with a Reichland Flesh Shade Wash. Uh, so that's a finished Harajan Warrior. These are four of my uh, 48 that I'm currently painting. I thought I'd do a little guide for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you've liked this please uh, comment, like, share and subscribe and we'll see you soon.